need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can add text to any shape you have drawn within a page. When you do this, Publisher will convert the selected shape to a text box. However, since you have many shapes at your disposal, you can see that a text box does not have to be a literal box shape. Using this technique allows you to create text circles, text triangles, and many, many other types of text containing shapes. To do this, select the shape that you have drawn in your page to which you want to add text. Then start by typing the text that you want the shape to contain. Publisher will immediately convert the shape into a text containing shape as you start to type. At that point, you will notice that the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab will appear in the ribbon, in addition to the existing Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab. Note as you are adding text to shapes and text boxes that if you add more text that can be displayed within the selected shape, the resizing handles appear around the border of the object. They will turn red to let you know that the shape contains more text than it can display. You will also see an ellipsis mark appear on the border of the selected object to let you know that the text is overflowing the shape. To fix this, you can simply resize the shape so that it is large enough to display the text that it contains, or you can link the text to the shape to another empty shape, and the overflow text will then display in the second shape. We will examine how to perform both of these tasks in later lessons. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.